Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Going to be reviewing a couple of more pods from Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. And he is located at superhotchilies.com. Now he sent me a red uh, seven pot Jonah and a yellow seven pot Jonah. And as you can see from the pictures in the beginning of the, uh, the video here that I grilled these up and I, and I made some um, crispy chicken tenders and a, um, this is a southern style milk gravy and I roasted up the peppers and put them into this gravy. Now this is kind of what we like to do here in the south. It's especially good on chicken fried steak uh, which is cube steak that's fried up, battered and fried up and you put this home style milk gravy with uh, pepper gravy with some salt and pepper. But I roasted up both the yellow and the uh, seven pot Jonah pepper and uh, chopped them up as you can see from the picture and then added them to this gravy so I think this is really going to be good but let me go ahead and read a little bit here about the Trinidad seven pot Jonah um, they say it's a larger chili plant that produces larger seven pot strain pods a more fruity flavor than the standard seven pot and slightly higher heat the peppers mature from light green to red surface of pods are pimply and lumpy with some even growing little scorpion tails now I don't have any information about the yellow one but I believe it's just a natural variant of the red seven pot Jonah. All right. Well, I think this is really going to be good. They were getting a little bit soft, so I decided not to just eat them straight up and review them that way, but to do something just a little bit different and um, put them on top of this uh, crispy chicken tenders inside this uh, gravy. So let's go ahead and check this out and see how much of this I can eat. I think this is really going to be good. So here we go, everybody. Mm. Just love a good chicken fried steak or now these are chicken tenders. Didn't have time to do it the other way. But this is really good. The peppers just add a, a lot to the um, to the gravy to really spice it up. And once again, this is a um, a whole yellow seven pot Jonah and a red one. Get some more of this gravy with the peppers. Mmm. starting to heat up the mouth pretty good but boy this tastes good just love this home style gravy like this okay let's take another bite mm. I'll go ahead and finish this one Woo, it's starting to burn pretty good. I evened it up, so there's probably about equivalent of one on each side of these. Mm. I'm not going to eat the other one in front of me. <laughs> mm. Wow. Fantastic. And once again, in my opinion, when you roast up the peppers like that, as you can see from the picture in the beginning, I roasted them up till they started to get just a little bit dark, uh, just with a little bit of um, olive oil and sea salt and a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic. And um, in the toaster oven on pretty high heat, it just takes a few, minute, few minutes. Take them out of there, put them on a plate, and then I just chopped them up a little bit. It just really to me, it really cuts the heat quite a bit. Um, as I probably ate the equivalent of one. Of course, I mixed them up together, both the red and the yellow, give this gravy a little bit of color. But I finished one of these uh, chicken tenders with the equivalent of about one whole pod, I'm sure. And um, it's burning the mouth pretty good, but it's nothing near as hot as eating a whole fresh pod. But I can tell it's got that great seven pot flavor on there. I really love the flavor of seven pot peppers. 
So um, it was really good. So anyway, just an idea of how you can uh, use uh, fresh, super hot peppers, grill them up. You can do a lot with them. All right. So thanks, Jim. <coughs> I got a little bubble in my throat. Thanks, Jim, so much for sending those. I really do appreciate it. Everybody check him out at superhotchilies.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, subscribe. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you later.